Hi everyone, welcome to Tuesday here on Inspiration for Today. And today we're looking at a psalm that uh, is written by David. He had real grief in his heart. And I think you'll understand why when we read the psalm and, and talk about it a little bit more. But let me give you the verse for the week. Because we're spending, the theme for this week is psalms in song. And we're doing that because we're, we're putting psalms, listening to psalms that have been put to song so that we can do this verse. And that's in Psalm 119.11. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. And we want to do that. We talked yesterday about how even when we get older, and even as we minister to people who have dementia in, in, in our assisted living ministry, they remember their hymns. They remember songs. And sure enough, uh, we want to put these, these songs, these words, into our heart. Now, this psalm, today we're going to look at Psalm 51, verses 10 through 12. As I said, it was written by David, and he had sinned. He had sinned by having adulterous affair with Bathsheba. And I think you know the story, and so there's no need to repeat that. But if you read the Bible, the prophet Nathan came to David. You know, David thought it had been done in secret. And yet Nathan came to him and confronted him and said, David, you have sinned. And God knew, and he sent Nathan to tell David. David was sick about the whole thing, <clears throat> and he repented. But I think you know how he felt. <clears throat> you know, we know that our sins are forgiven. Uh, Jesus died. His blood paid the price for your sins and for my sins. And then we know that if we confess our sins, 1 John 1, 9, that he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. And so in our heart, we know, I mean, excuse me, in our mind, we know that we are forgiven. And that God has, has blotted out our sins, removed them from us. But we still feel guilty and we have, it, 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 it hurts. We're, we're, we're not upset with God at that point. We're upset with ourselves. David was too. And so here's the whole psalm you ought to read, but the, the, the verses that are in this psalm are 10 through 12. And David says, Create in me a pure heart, O God. Renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence. Or take your Holy Spirit from me. And we know he won't. But he's praying that. Don't take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. And grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. I think that's really an important point that, uh, that David makes. And he prays for right there. And he says, restore to me the the joy of my salvation. Not restore to me my salvation. You never, you, you don't lose your salvation. But he says, restore to me the joy of my salvation. Well, that's talking about the emotions of the person. And that's why this is such an important uh, prayer and passage because we want to remember this mem memorize this and there and and then pray it whenever you need to just like David did the Psalms are also prayers and he needed he wanted that relationship that that feeling back that joy of the Lord that he knew should be his 
Well, I found a, just a wonderful rendition of this psalm. And it was shot uh, in Moonstone Beach, Moonstone, yes, Beach, in California, which is basically in Cam just outside of Cambria. And our family, <laughs> it meant a lot to me because our family has uh, gone there many, many times. We love Cambria, Moonstone Beach. And uh, it was, the girls singing it are from uh, Fountain View Academy that is in that area. And it just seems like they are truly feeling, and the words of this song come alive in them. They, it just seems like such a uh, pure self, a pure way of delivering these verses. You'll see what I mean as, as you see it. Uh, this is an important, an important psalm. I hope you're, uh, if you need to rewind and watch it again, I hope you'll do that. Remember, you can review all these on our Inspiration for Today channel on YouTube. And that is available to you. I hope you take advantage of it. So sit back, try to sing along, at least learn the chorus, and this will be important in your life in the years ahead. I just know it will. God bless. Hey, we'll see you tomorrow. Let's do another passage of Scripture tomorrow. You want to? Okay. Bye for now. See you then.